motor mount on a 94 Geo Prism 1.6 liter <sighs> Prism. It's gonna be a little bit difficult. I'm gonna need a 10, a 12, a 14, a 14 deep socket, which is a six point, and a 19 to get this um, bolt that goes all the way through here, this pin completely out. To do this, this has got to go. I got to get this out. This harness has to go out. All that to get to this. So, as we do this, I'll show you the details. But right now, this boat's got to come loose because this obviously was tied in because this is busted off. Whoever had the car before me did that. So here we go. These boats is going to be have to loosened up. These are going to have to be, there's two that's in the bottom of here that's got to be from the bottom of the engine. You can't really see them from this point, but you can, when I get up underneath there, you'll see that. So here we go. This right here, as you can see, that's a 10 millimeter. Pulls these out. So the first thing to do was is take out your uh, windshield washer fluid. As you can see, here's the straw. Took two 2 millimeter screws to do that. And a simple way to fix this is, you can see how I'm doing this right here. That's how you uninstall your uh, windshield wiper fluid jug. And as you can see, it's all draining back into a bucket that you can just put right back in there later on. So the next thing to do is all this harness has to go to get to this motor mount. As you can see, it's a 10 millimeter screw right there that holds that into place. When you pull this out, this anchor, the whole after taking that 10 millimeter loose, you notice right here we got some play in this. So these got a little bit of room. Don't move them too much because they're aluminum, so it didn't take much to bust them. But you got a little bit of room to get to your bolts here now that you can do something. So I believe these are 12 meter millimeter here that will do this job yep there's 12 millimeters so that will work for there all right here's your 14s as you can see that bolt that I'm turning right there those are 14 millimeter bolts this one right here that's a 10 millimeter and that's got to come loose this one here is a 14 and that was a pain and have to use a breaking bar on that one to get that one to come loose, but as you can see, it's developed. Okay, after doing that progress right there, loosening up those bolts, these two right here, from down there, you have to do them. So the best thing to do is come up underneath your passenger side, and you will see right here, right there, you see those are 10 millimeter bolts right there, and secure these two. And this panel just drops right down and you can access that way. And from right here you can see those two bolts that's going to help alleviate the entire problem. Right here. And as you can see they're deep sockets, 14. So put some tension on that and take it loose. Okay, the next thing. Yes, after you get these bolts tucking out that you see right here, put your board on your oil pan like this. And by doing that, as you can see, here's the motor mount. Three is go. All we got to do is loosen the bolt and it'll come right out. This bolt here, and this whole thing will slide right out. And as you can tell, there's the old motor mount, probably been in there since the day the car was made, and there's the brand new one. All I did was slide it right out. Time to put this one back. Now folks, when it comes to this right here, as you can see, that is a 19 millimeter. Look at here. This is a way of breaking it. You got your extension going through the side of it here, and then you just break it loose. You may have to have a pipe. Once Okay, once you've released a pin, like I said, you got to break this bolt loose right here. And that's the mount that goes onto the engine. This pin goes through that hole right here. And just do a complete reverse and start putting everything back together. But you can clearly tell that, yeah, that was in dire need. I mean, 
you can clearly see he was in dire need of a new one. You'll have to play around with the screws a little bit to make sure everything's where it needs to be. And as you can see, there's the old one. Here's the new one. And that is how you replace a motor mount on a 94 Geo Prism.